Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do just a um, Mercury retrograde reading. Uh, it just seems like with, with the Aquarius energy, there's some real heavy energy, some real synchronicity. Uh, some, some Aquarius have really done the work on themselves, uh, about themselves, about relationship, about money, about everything. Um, almost every aspect of their life. They come into some mastery of something, maybe of themselves, you know, of who they are and what they are supposed to be doing, what path they're supposed to be on, you know, um, in their life. There's also a heavy energy of something, of course, it's Mer Mercury retrograde, something or someone wanting to return, okay? Um, something, someone, friendship, romantic partner, something wants to return. It's just like, and it, it causes the, the Aquarius to have high anxiety to where the Aquarius tries to put it out of their mind, out of their emotions, but they know that it's there. Um, they may even be having conversations with this person, but the person isn't there. Conversations in their head about what they want to say. Um, or, or, it, or it's like a, a whole conversation you're having with this person and they aren't physically around you. Um, that's how strong the connection is. Sun, Moon, or Rising Aquarius. I was prompted to say that, and I never say that, so that's for somebody. All right, okay, so let's ask the cards. What is happening for the Aquarius during the Mercury retrograde? Wow, Judgment, the Hangman, Two Major Arcana. There's some need for you to change some aspect of your life. Live in the present. The present is here. Deal with it. The past is trying to to go away. Um, it's relinquishing its hold on you. Now live in the present. And the present, once again, may be bringing something or someone back with the judgment card. The hangman says that you you might need to see something in a different perspective to get your desired outcome. Also says that you might have to sacrifice. Sacrifice something in order to have something else come to fruition. Have what it is you want here. Also says that plans are, are halted right now. Uh, something is slowing down. It's not that's not happening. But there's a slowdown. There is a, a need for great evaluation. There's an upheaval maybe in your emotions and who you are uh, with relationship, whatever. There's an upheaval. It's causing you to make some real permanent changes in your life. Whatever this may be is permanence here. So it's, it's, it, whatever this is, you need to see something from a different perspective here. Something that is uh, ha has been in your life before. Uh, be final and definite, or, or live in the past. But it's, but the past is trying to to release you, or you're being released from the past. It's a good time to change some element of your lifestyle, of what, and that could be in mental, emotional, physical. Whatever you do that may not, it is not good for you, or however you think or thought in the past is not good for you. Let's see. What else is happening during the Merc? Princess of Swords. Okay, so this is an opportunity for you to, to learn, to study, to gain knowledge of, uh, to be a student of, to, to be inquisitive, to ask the questions. Not just of others, but of, of yourself also. There also may be someone or you looking in on something. Somebody's wanting to learn here. Some of you are going to be learning more about 
more, more self help betterment of self and other people or for other people some of you are definitely coming out of a, a, a past burden a carried burden uh, things are changing this is the end what will you do here now that the universe has brought something to a close Some of you may be learning about the mind, how people think, how people react. Three of Swords. Didn't I say that the threes are about how you're thinking, uh, early childhood fundamentals. So some of you may be learning about yourself also. In regards to um, your, your thinking and your communication style and how you communicate for what you think is for what a man thinks is what he is or who you know what somebody get down in the comments let me know what that quote is all right <laughs> but there's somebody here who is definitely this is like someone who is walking in, in, into, yep, the moon at the bottom of the deck. Walking into a life path of wanting to evaluate how people, how people think and how it, um, it directly correlates or is relative to how they feel, ultimately to how they act, and then the fundamental um, elements that they have built around themselves or in their life or in relationship so definitely um, there might be someone who's studying some psychoanalysis psycho psychology tarot card reading psychic intuitive uh, life coaching some self-help also Aquarius there may be something that you are in this Mercury retrograde, what it is bringing to you is the fact that um, there may be something that you may be denying yourself. You have not admitted to yourself how you feel about a particular you fill in the blank. Okay? A particular you fill in the blank. P person, place, or thing. Uh, which causes you a bit of self-delusion. There's a need to practice caution because there's risk risk associated with maybe gossiping. There's also risk associated with um, dealing with someone. Some of you may be dealing with Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like yourself, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you may not be being honest with them also. There's some truth being withheld from you or, or, or you're doing the withholding of the truth. Your heart is torn. Somebody has two different options. Different. Their heart is divided for two different options. Now, this these options could be two different jobs, two different children, two different places of residence, two different people, romantic partners, two different friendships. But the heart is divided, which causes the three of swords. Someone is contemplating divorce and or separation. There have, may have been infidelity. Someone is looking at the relationship and asking themselves, do I go ahead with the divorce or the separation? It's definitely up to the Aquarius. Okay. Let's see. 
there's an air of something or someone wanting to come back this is more so feels like a someone so we're gonna go with someone let's see what these cards have to say in regards to someone wanting re wanting to return during the mercury retrograde Aquarius, you or someone may have to make a decision uh, of two people. Your, your heart is definitely torn for two people. You may be denying something to yourself. Some of you, it looks like there may be an element of settling too. You can't get who or what you want. So you're settling for what you is here, what you have. The tower. Yeah, I think something all of a sudden it says destruction mayhem disorder erupts conflict in a relationship or a challenge is coming to a head and you're going to have to face it head on how you deal with this is you have historical reference. It says compromise is needed here. Patience, compromise, moderation. Someone needs to know when to draw on the feminine, then the masculine energy. You can't be all of one thing. You may have Sagittarius, a Scorpio in your life there's someone who wants to make it right with you they want to salvage a relationship once again there's somebody wanting to come back someone who is willing to compromise someone who you had a turbulent relationship with someone who feels like you are the yin to the yang someone who thinks about you heavily They think about how responsible you are, how nurturing, how much you care for yourself, inner and outwardly, how you may be a working mother or father. That's female energy. They're, they're trapped in their thoughts about you. They feel stuck to you tied to this the level of of heightened intimacy sexual pleasure the merging of the two is uh, sometimes too much for them to bear they've never felt this way about anyone let's see They feel a sense of equilibrium with you, of equality, of of the give and the take. No, no one is 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 left out. They feel like they need to nurture you. They feel like they, with you once again, um, there's always equal balance. So uh, there's systematic giving and taking. There's a um, an analytical nature of, of uh, health and fitness associated with the Aquarius. That's how you feel about somebody else, Aquarius. But there's someone who thinks very highly of you. This person wants to. So the eights talk about shared finances, shared resources, loans, contracts, inheritance, investments, all of those things, the other person's money, mystery. Someone is mysterious or or you're being or you're mysterious to the other.
person they they wonder how you just hold it together how you make it work how you find structure and sometimes what could have been an unstable environment for you they find that very attractive they this person wants to merge life with you this person wants to marry you not only because they love you or they think that you're beautiful or that you're an actual soulmate they think you're and you make them over the top happy that they can see raising a children just raising a children you know raising a family with you and having children with you but they know they know that merging a life with you um, will bring them a sh shared um prosperity they see how hard you work Someone could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, judgment again. This person wants to come back. They are watching you. They're, they're taming themselves in regards to you because maybe how things ended wasn't so great. But they have plans for you, plans of how to come to you, or they know that they need to plan in order to come to you because there's something or someone standing in the way. They're waiting for the perfect time to give that apology or that heartfelt uh i'm hearing dissertation what <laughs> they want to come to you and um and right the wrongs bring about the balance they feel with without you there's no real balance in their life things are hectic chaotic um of course there might even be some drama associated with them right now. Some childlike games being played. Uh, they feel like this may be a love affair that they're associated. They're, they're at a crossroads in their life. Something's completely ending for them. Maybe with an air sign, fire sign. They're willing to take the leap of faith they understand they have weighed up the cost of starting over you got the ten of swords and then the fool follows they want to restore rebuild renew re reconnect reconcile re 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 with you the empress they, they have put you on a pedestal and in their mind you deserve it but there are two minds about returning to you they're not sure they're going to get the desired outcome. Yep. Three of Swords. They don't know how you think about them. How you think about the connection. Maybe because they put you in a love affair or a triangle situation. Um, they divided you before amongst someone else. And now they are back. Or they are looking at what you guys had. And they're weighing up the costs. They're weighing up the two options. They're also weighing up like, what what do I say? What do I do? How do I get their attention? This person may be, they're very much in love with you and holding on to you. They're trying to think of ways how they can return to you and uh Wow, and restore, give gift to you, message of, of love and of um, apology. Wanted to tell you that they want to grow with you, but also trying to remain balanced. They're holding back. Because they can't read you. They used to could read you. Aquarius, you know exactly what they want to say to you. You know exactly what they're going through. You know exactly, exactly. But the Aquarius is doing nothing in regards to moving forward uh, or, or reaching out. Said, 
this person wants good times with you they feel with you they're on the right path they're highly attracted to you wow ten of pentacles they want it all with you king of wands ten of wands they want you to forgive them they, they feel as if you're cold and calculating systematic and methodical strategic and logical they understand that when they come to you they're going to have to they're going to have to be very structured in what they say wow and then look what flipped out onto my thigh like I was shuffling the cards and flipping. Then I just said that they're going to have to be very structured and methodical in coming to you. The Ace of Swords and the Death card. Their words are going to have to be on point as if they had written this down about how they have transformed, how they have changed, how they want things to change. Or you or if they don't come to you like that this is what they get king of swords and the page of swords they get someone who is um not going for the bs they get someone not Aquarius, I don't know if you should let down your guard with this person. You may have very good reason to have your guard so high um, in, in, in regards to this person. Let's see what they want to say to you. Okay. And then we're going to get the advice of what you should allow if you should accept it this could be any sign we've got Okay, so what they want to say to you is a lot. Um, it's good. Let's go over to the website and talk about what they want to say to you. And then let's get um, the advice for if you should accept this. I want to leave you with an angel answers card um, in regards to this particular person in regards to some of you being on the right path and feeling very aligned with the universe let's see well, we'll do two within the next few months so we have a timeline here and we'll clarify over at the website let's see all right flipped out wow recovery nice so someone wants to restore recover what they have I, I have to give this to my Aquarius at the bottom of the deck we have be assertive and then we have the king of swords and the page of swords if that's not assertive I don't know what assertiveness is be very assertive about what you'll what you'll stand for what you'll take in regards to dealing with this person meet me on the other side to see what it is they really want to say to you 
Um, should you accept offers? If there are any offers here, uh, what's the advice for the Aquarius in dealing with this person during the Mercury retrograde? Uh, what's the advice for the Aquarius in dealing with uh, being on that spiritual path and uh, being completely aligned with the universe? Uh, what what is there to come for the Aquarius? Uh, it's always two dollars and twenty five cents USD dollars to get more clarity especially if you feel like this reading resonates with you if you can't afford a full reading take advantage okay the link is below thank you guys take care